It's getting hotter, family. Temperatures are rising all over the world. Excuse the noise. I have my fan on and air conditioning. It's hot and it's not your imagination. Your summers are hotter than ever before. It's amazing that I, I knew this. You know, we've been talking about this because there are scriptures that talks about it getting hotter in the last days. This article here titles, Arizona's Emergency Service Brace for Temperatures Above 110 Degrees as Deaths Mount. Man, it is really, really beginning to heat up. And the scary thing about it is a lot of people don't know what to do. And what do you think that's going to do to farmland? What do you think that's going to do to crops? Yes. There could be more fire starting. Animals are going to die. This is a horrible scenario for our future. But the scriptures talked about it. The scriptures talked about um, the world heating up. You know, the seal would open up. That's what it says in Revelation. This is Revelations chapter 16, verse 9, 8 and 9. It says, And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of Elohim which have power over these plagues and they repented not to give him glory so the scripture talked about it it talked about the plague of fire where men were going to get scorched on the land it talked about it and so we just got to be prepared we just got to be prepared there's another article that I want to play for you it talks about uh, things that's going on now and how bad things can get and so I'm going to go ahead and play this article and I'm telling you things are really really beginning to happen and so we better get ourselves prepared mentally and physically and spiritually in every way that we can India birds drop out of the sky people die in case you have lingering doubts about the reality of global warming, hop on an airplane to parts of India or Pakistan, and spend a few days. And as long as you're there, maybe be a good citizen and pick up a few of the dehydrated birds that drop out of the sky. Then use the syringe you brought along to feed it some water before it dies in your hands. And maybe do the same for some of the people sprawled out on the roadside before they die right before your eyes. After all, people are already dying from the humid heat. Maybe you could help them survive and while at it maybe bring along that friend who's a climate denier to assist in saving some lives. It's good for their soul to open his or her eyes to reality. According to a recent Business Insider article, birds are falling from the sky in India as a record heat wave dries up water sources, May 14, 2022. And it's not just a few random instances. Vets in an animal hospital in Ahmedabad said they had treated thousands of birds in recent weeks. Hit it. Here's a snippet from the Yale Climate Connections article entitled India and Pakistan's brutal heat wave poised to resurge, inferno-like temperatures of up to 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat, when combined with high levels of humidity, especially near the coast and along the Indus River Valley, will produce dangerously high levels of heat stress that will approach or exceed the limit of survivability for people outdoors for an extended period. The extraordinary blistering heat has prompted Umair Hawk, a British economist, former blogger for the Harvard Business Review, but he attended the University of Oxford, London Business School, and McGill University, to compose a special article about the scenario entitled The Age of Extinction is Here. Some of us just don't know it yet, published in Eudaimonia and Co. May 2022 in which he describes a world that has already crossed the threshold of survivability. Umer has friends in the Indian subcontinent. So, he hears firsthand what's happening without the filter of a news organization. 
Here's one quote, the heat wave there is pushing the boundaries of survivability. My other sister says that in the old, beautiful city of artists and poets, eagles are falling dead from the sky. They are just dropping dead and landing on houses, monuments, and shops. They can't fly anymore. Here's some more reporting directly from the streets, as related by Umer. The streets, she says, are lined with dead things. Dogs. Cats. Cows. Animals of all kinds are just there, dead. They perished in the killing heat. They can't survive. People spend all day in canals and rivers and lakes. Some people in the streets are passed out and at the edge of a life or death scenario. He suggests the death count will not be known for some time, and many probably won't be counted. Here's an interesting take from Umer's perspective, you see, my Western friends read stories like this, and then they go back to obsessing over the Kardashians or Wonder Woman or Johnny Depp or Batman. They don't understand yet. Because this is beyond the limits of what Homo sapiens can really comprehend, the event. That world is coming for them too. He claims, we are at the threshold of the cataclysm. Some of us are now crossing over to the other side, of a different planet, one that's going to become unlivable. This isn't going to happen or might happen, it is actually happening now. Here's one more quote, at 50 degrees, which is where the subcontinent is now, life dies off. The birds fall from the sky. The streets become mass graves. People flee and try to just survive. Energy grids begin to break. Economies grind to a halt. Umer claims civilization collapses somewhere between 50 minus 60 degrees Celsius. Nothing works after that point. Animals die and systems shut down. Economics craters, inflation skyrockets, people grow poorer, fascism erupts as a consequence. People become frightened and turn to fundamentalist religion or authoritarian rule to give them answers. The regular old economics and politics don't work any longer. Sound familiar? Death by human heat in India equates to the tolling of bells slowly, repeatedly, as black pennants flutter along the distant horizon. Another one has died and another, and one more and another and another, as the monotonous tolling becomes an atrocious irritation. Postscript. It's in every bird falling from the sky, every animal dropping dead from the heat, every democracy being shredded by lunatics, and all the deaths we will never count. Our systems, all of them economic, social, political, are beginning to fail. Now that was a very interesting article. You know, article talking about our government systems falling all over the world. It actually sounds like the fall of Babylon. You know she'll be burned with fire. That's the entire world. That's not just America. That's the entire world. And so... We know it's getting hotter, things are heating up, people are dropping dead right now. Animals are dying right now. And you know what that means? If you got a hotter summer, you're gonna have a colder winter. That means brace yourself because the winters are going to get worse and worse. And I gotta admit to you, since I've been down south, this has probably this past winter has probably been the coldest most snow and ice that we've had since we've been down south in 15 years and so it's going to get worse y'all that's just the word the scripture tells you the plagues are going to be falling or fall out you know on this planet the most high is going to pour out his plagues and it's just going to be all kinds of things going on so we have to brace ourselves we have to brace ourselves for extreme weather extreme tornadoes extreme hurricanes, extreme winter storms, extreme um, summer heat, drought and famine. That's the word. The word talked about all of these things coming. So basically we just got to prepare ourselves, prepare ourselves mentally and be ready. Do all you can do to be ready to prepare yourself. You know, because it's on. This is it. It's going to get worse and worse from here, family. On that note, I just want to encourage you to trust Yah and to be faithful and to not um, waver in your belief, not to let the things you see cause your heart to fail, but keep the faith because Yah is going to make a way for you because you trust in Him. On that note, I'm going to say Shalom.
sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.